Hello everyone! Sorry we're starting a little late. Uh, we got caught in trying to get things scheduled with the guild and stuff, but it's all taken care of now. Uh, Ladonia will be joining us in just a moment. I'm still kind of setting things up on this end. Knock on wood. I hope everyone's day has gone awesomely. Better than actions. I have better than actions. Poor action. Um, our good friend Action, who you might remember from some of our streams with Heaven on High, um, his apartment flooded today, so he's been kind of busy. Also, you'll notice that over the course of the week, uh, we've been working on our off-off classes. Uh, they won't be ready for tonight, but they'll definitely be ready for next week for doing uh, the story quests for their classes straight through. So it'll be an entire night of just Pugilist and Lancer quests, and you'll be able to see it all back to back as the story progresses, and it's actually kind of neat. Hello, Ace! So, this means next week we will have more Lancer than you can shake a stick at. Yes. <laughs> I think that's the whole point of the stream. <laughs> um, you'll also notice that Ladonia here has a tag by her name, Hair. That's because we finally broke down and created the Hair Band. It's a do-nothing FC that we created because we were tired of having people constantly sending us uh, guilt, uh, FC in fights in the middle of the stream. <laughs> yeah, we're being silly, but hey, uh, it, it's a do-nothing guild, goads nowhere guild. It's populated mostly by us and a couple of my alts, who I might actually move out eventually and into our main FC. But at least we have this. And now we can get all sorts of can I join or guild owned requests. Oh god, that was hilarious. <laughs> Hello, Aki. So, um... Hello, everyone. Let's see, I think we were working on other class quests. Uh, we finished... The ones the ones, I think? Yeah, uh, we need to head to Limsa Lomenza. Indeedy. It's going to be... For you, it would be uh, Warrior. Warrior, yeah. Which actually should be here. Um, raising the Beast is... Yeah. At least up at Hidden Falls. Yeah, and mine's actually in... Uh... Hop on. I'll take you to Hidden Falls. Sure you can find it. It's hidden. I think I know where Cur Curious Gorge is. <laughs> no, this is for warriors only. I know. And I'm a stupid sword and board kind of girl. Hello, oh, Mr. Calibri. Please don't mind us. Uh, he minded us. He minds us. <laughs> timing. It's all about timing. Uh... Hi, Curious. Um, now, let's see here. Let me flip over to yep, you, Gorb. Yep, yep. Deciphering the ancient chronicles of my people is proving to be a much more demanding task than I have imagined. Mind you, it hasn't helped that I've been somewhat preoccupied with it. A comrade of mine from my days in the Company of Heroes asked me to do a favor, and has taken me back and forth across the realm like some bloody fairy. I don't know how that feels at all.
I'm on a hunt for some mysterious feral beast that's since been terrorizing Smallville. People don't know where this monstrosity came from, but witnesses say its thirst for blood is unlike anything they've ever seen. Unfortunately, the time I have spent in pursuit of the beast is time I have not spent studying the Chronicles, and I am sorry to say I have made little progress. However, while on the road, I was able to decipher one passage that may be of interest to us both. From what I can gather, the Chronicles tell of an ancient set of armor forged by my ancestors in the plains of the Seven Hells, and inscribed with the same arcane incantations that have adorned the soul of the war. It would seem that this mighty armor was passed down from the hero to apprentice for centuries, until one man, driven by rage and vainglory, cast all five pieces from Abelothi as high as the Since that day, the armor has remained lost, and with it, the power that it holds. As far as I can make out, the next passage in the Chronicles concerns the whereabouts of the missing artifacts, and I've only been able to make sense of the odd words of this part. Still, I must confess to some uh, to some excitement. Imagine what a warrior clad in such garb could achieve. Let me guess, this is the 45 year. See! Right. Ah, uh, only my brother would hear. We could decipher the text together and spread the teachings of our people to the entire realm. Alas, he is not. His whereabouts are as hidden to me as those of the ancient army. I would like I would have liked you to meet him. If only so you could have looked upon a true world. Well, perhaps you should. Hey, or is he is not as large as most people perceive. Paths cross, fates intertwine. Such is the will of the spell. It may be that my brother has chosen a similar path to mine. But I have rammed the plan. You're here to take the next step in your training, and so I shall approach. In the southern reaches of Thanalan is the Sigoli Desert. God's forsaken wasteland is not but sand that stretches as far as the eye can see. It is here that the Leviathan of the Dunes is a sandworm of gargantuan proportions. But facing this mammoth creature, you will soon realize that the feeble hacks and flashes of your puny axe are ill suited to the task of felling such a foe. But do not let this dissuade. Wake the slumbering beast within and summon forth a strength that transcends the limits of your physical form. Mind you, first you'll have to find the beast, and that might prove a tall order in itself. The new tribe that inhabits Forgotten Springs is wise to the movements in, of the denizens of the world. Should you want for guidance, I wager er, they could set you in the right direction. So, off to Thanalan? Yes. Slow boat it or port? I think port. I guess I am now, aren't I? You volunteer. Arr. Oh, poor Peeps. Peeps is hungry. Here, have some Gatial Greens. Uh, they're saying your mic's a bit low. Really? Do I sound a little key to you? Hopefully that's a little better. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, remember, it usually takes them all a little bit to catch up.
Leviathan of the Dunes. I f saw a, the fearsome bugger not a week ago, preying on a group of merchants south of the Baragat Strike. The smart ones dropped their wares, turned tail, and ran. The dumb ones, well, at least they can say they died rich. Anything? He might. Their little lazy fluffy butts are everywhere. Aye, I've seen the beast. Stands three moms high, he does, and stirs up sandstorms with each writhe and wriggle. Showed up in my hunting field some years ago and has been swallowing up my would-be prey in that gaping maw of his ever since. Aww. So you're saying you will have no complaints if it dies? None whatsoever. Okay, let's go. Very, very let's go. Let's go. Be very, very noisy. We're going sand. <laughs> Go, Lucy, go! Like that one? Yep. Bye, Mr. Sandworm! I'm throwing him back. He's too small. How about this one? No, nope, still too small. Are you sure? He looks kind of big to me. Not giant enough. Oh. Yeah, Whew. this looks like where a few people died rich. Let's get rid of this guy. I was wondering why I was tanking. Well, now you know. Oh, he's all you. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Well, he's not all mine, Marshmallow. You go, Marshmallow! Also? Yeah, actually, yes. I'll pay for the trip back. Okay, it's your quest anyway. at the beach resort now. I like this better. Still a bunch of sand. Yeah, Just but there's a beach. The air has a nice humid uniform. <laughs> Hello, dear. Welcome, welcome. I know you see where uh, uh, It kind of gets there, but it's kind of roundabout. <laughs> and I think you've gotten every blood uh, shore bell after us. Oh. No. 
That's fine. You're crazy, you know that? Ah. The crystal bridge ever strong. Telling the raging sandworm, the beast within you slowly but surely rouses to wake but next you do battle, methinks you will find yourself capable of movements heretofore unfamiliar. When you've mastered your new talents, return to me. Meanwhile, I shall continue my study of ancient texts. Well, oh, that was a nice long quest. Nothing like that. Not that window. Yeah, also, uh, go back to it for a sec. Your third piece. Yeah, I was noticing that it has the, uh, cure on it. Yeah, it, that's a Restore HP. You will get a new one. Basically, uh, the Warrior rotation is the first two is always the same. And then the third one, you'll either use that one, which is what you'll use more often, or you will flip out to another, um... I can't remember the name of it at the moment. It will come in later, but it will be a DPS up buff. Hmm. So you kind of want to keep that one running, but you want to have that HP regeneration going as much as possible, so you have to choose between the two. It branches. Yeah. Yeah, this is coming. It always does. Yes, yes, it does. Okay. Okay. We raided. Yeah, we need to go visit Tsubame in Obero. Who are most annoyingly on the other side of the map. So we're going to have to take the ferry because I don't feel like tropping all the way through uh, Bloodshore, then to Lower La Nosea, then back through to Ring Kelter Gully. This is why the ferry makes a profit. Nobody can uh -huh. do that. Hello, Mr. Ferry Skipper. Actually, that's Miss Ferry Skipper to you. Supami, sorry it took me so long. We had things. Business. Yeah, things. Um, you sure there's someone here? Yep. They're really good ninjas. I can't see them at all. <laughs> Do I need to read this off? Oh. Um, you need to you switch, 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 switch so I can see it. Oh, oh, right, 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 Sorry. My bad. Killer combinations. Subami appears quite pleased with your progress. Rena, why I, why I do not even hear your footsteps as you approach. You are becoming more and more of a shinobi each day. It wasn't that she couldn't hear you, it's just I was drowning you out. Probably. You clank pretty hard nowadays. Yeah. Obero has been waiting for you to return. Please, enter. Hello, Obero. Don't mind uh. the chocobo. Ah, uh, Rena. It is clear from the manner in which you carry yourself that you have been most diligent in your training.
But you are not the only one who has mastered the technique imparted to you. Behold my Aorzean... In, uh, yeah. Behold my Aorzean bow. Perfect in balance and form. <clears throat> now, it is time for your next lesson. Watch carefully my hands, Renan. With this mudra, the shinobi can summon the energies of the earth, chi in our tongue. Etch its form in your mind, and I shall show you how to employ it in battle. Chi, earth, got it. That was a quick quest complete. Are you sure? He kind of looks like... It was a very quick quest complete, it's just you've got more than one. Once upon a time in Doma, Uboro would impart a new mudra to his promising pupil. Chi, or Earth, marks the second mudra that you have learned. With this, you are ready to begin the next phase of your training. It is through the combination of mudra that you will find new techniques. The first technique I would impart to you is right on, a lightning release. When the heavens joins with the earth, lightning will flash and thunder will roll. In other words, form the mudra 10 followed by chi, channel the energy forward, and bolts of lightning will surge from your hands to strike your foe. As this is a more formidable technique than the Fuma Shuriken you have wielded thus far, I have taken care to reinforce the Mokujin outside the storehouse. Strike it with Raiton, and I shall observe. You got it, Obro. Am I going to be dealing with Shockholm Syndrome soon? Ha 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 ha. Ah, there's the Mujin. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Mujin. Time to kiss your wooden butt goodbye. Um, just for Ladonia's information, uh, that was Raitan, mm -hmm. which is an 800 okay, potency. Okay, hold on. Go back up. Hmm? Just scroll up a little bit. Okay, then. That's all job. So scroll back down. Okay, so they don't have this as a separate no. section, uh, which they really should. Yeah, these are things that cannot be assigned to the hot bar. Yeah, which is why I would think they'd have their own section, so it'd just be, you know, here's the guide to the various things you can put together. Nope, nope. Uh, in this case, okay. they go back throw to right on them. Yeah. 800 potency. And it's technically an instant. If you can get the cast right. Yeah, good grief, that's worse than drill, though at least drill is automatic. <laughs> oh, bro. Very well. Now, recall what I said during our first lesson. The techniques at your disposal are created not merely by which mutra you form, but also the order in which you combine them. Yes. When Earth joins with Heaven, the skies will rain fire and ash. In other words, form the Mutra Chi followed by Ten, and channel those energies forward, and Searing Hellfire will engulf your foes. But to be forewarned, these techniques require considerable exertion of your spirit. After performing one, you will observe that some time is required before your mind settles, and you are able to wield another. Now, demonstrate Katon for me uh, on the Makujin over there. <laughs> in, in this case, she's referring to Drill, which is a machinist ability. Yeah. But yeah, uh, the best way... Yeah, it was. Good grief, that's worse than Drill. Drill is a machinist ability, which is an instant that is power level 700... And that's one of the higher abil power abilities there is. And 
you just should not be allowing an instant to be that uh, that big. <laughs> yeah. Black um... mages wish they could do seven hundred on, uh, on a on a whim. Yeah, the kind of the way I remember this is lightning flows from heaven to earth, yep. fire rises from earth to heaven. Yeah. And fire is an AoE. I like the fact that you actually have the animation of you actually spitting out the fire. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, and the fire AoE, Kaiton, is 500 to all targets within its radius. Oh, none of the, uh, the silly uh, does less damage per number of people actually in it. Nope. They need to get rid of oh, and, of those. And so you know the Flaming Shuriken? Fuma Shuriken? Uh, that does a potency 500 to one target. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 sometimes the power scale gets kind of crazy. Splendid. Your grasp on fundamental mudra combinations is firm. But knowing how... Uh, or knowing the how of the technique is only the beginning. You must also understand when to employ it. Chunin is our word for a shinobi who has attained full mastery of two mudra techniques. In our tradition, when a student is deemed by his master to show such potential, she is led to a waterfall outside the village to conduct intense training. Because you just can't have a um, oriental training mo uh, montage without a waterfall. That is correct. Must have a training waterfall. I cannot take you to Doma, of course, but my maps tell me of a place in Upper La Nosea that should suffice. Fool Falls. The name is less than auspicious, but it will have to do. Meet me there, and we shall proceed. And that's going to be a little bit of a trip because there is no Eighth Right nearby. Of course not. Yeah, uh, Ninja is actually one of the classes. I was kind of iffy on it on Theron, but it is pretty much close to a second main for him from Dragoon. The only reason why he's not switched to Ninja from Dragoon is because Stardiver is too smexy. <laughs> Stardiver is way too smexy. Now keep in mind, I'm rattling off these numbers in Ninja. And it's actually considered one of the lower DPS classes because it's a, um... It's a uh, class that assists other classes, particularly with trick shot. Mm. Or trick attack, which uh, does... Adds a uh, target damage take... Additional damage taken by 5% for 15 seconds. You line that up with like Star Diver or Drill or a Black Mage Fire 4, and things start evaporating. You get a couple ninjas together who know how to stagger their trick attacks so that that um, uh, 5% uh, damage buff lasts longer, and over the more life of the. Um, a boss, that 15 seconds suddenly turns into 30. 30 seconds turns into 45. Yeah. <laughs> and you have other DPS who know how to take advantage of that, and things start evaporating. Hello, Mr. Fat Dodo. Yes. Yeah, I was not feeling much Dragoon love for a while. Then it kind of got a little better with um, Eyes of the Dragon and um, Dragon's Blood. And then Star Diver came out. And it's like, nope, nope, Dragoon for life. <laughs> yeah, not quite as dramatic, but I certainly went through the same thing with Bard. And I definitely appreciate the current top level Bard. 
Yeah, the, Bard has gone through a lot of changes. I think it's actually in a pretty decent place now. It's still mm -hmm. not one of my favorite classes, but I can gel with it more than I can gel with Summoner. Yeah, well, there's uh, a low par. <laughs> Top level Summoner is just all levels of nope. And there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I like Summoner. What's the problem with it is it doesn't feel like Summoner. Yeah, that, that is a big one. It's not that I can't play Summoner, it's just I don't have fun playing Summoner. There's a big difference yeah. there. And even so, you do tend to feel like you don't know what you're doing either, but some of that is practice. Yeah, it, it feels less like you're summoning and fighting with Iggy's and Carbuckles, and more like you're putting your face on the keyboard, rolling it around, and praying DPS comes out the other side. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to abandon you here. What? Out in the middle of the wilderness? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, kittens that want to play with you. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> okay, Orbro, you ready for this? I'm ready for some training. Oh, right. Um... <laughs> there. Bye! Don't forget to write! Until today, I knew this place only as letters on a map. Gazing upon it with my own eyes, it is even more beautiful and powerful than I could have imagined. Yes, this will serve us well. Yeah, this is a fairly nice little pocket. My people do not worship your deities, Twelve. Our gods are all around us, in the trees, in the soil, in the crashing waters before you. Close your eyes and open your heart to the sound of the rushing falls, that you might purge your mind of all worldly thoughts and distraction. The techniques you have learned will serve you well in battle, but confuse the order of your mudra and you can just as easily turn victory into defeat. It is imperative that you keep a single focus of mind. Oh god, if you mess up a mudra, it's I was hilarious. For this. So it is that masters have brought their students to falls like this one for training since my ancestors' times. I think you can guess who this is. Uh, the, uh, well, yeah, I can figure it out, but... Who is the more foolish? The fool of fool falls, or the fool who comes here without realizing he's been followed? Karasu. Now here's a curious scene. The dim one is accompanied today not by his swallow, but by a chirping horsebird chick who fancies herself a shinobi. The dim one is displeased. This after our hero proposed uh, postponed two assassinations to make this little journey. Could his friends not greet him with a smile and some crumpets? Or whatever it is Aorizians take with their tea? The Dim One ponders, how did our hero know to find him here? Yet the answer is plain as day. The Dim One is a creature of habit and tradition. Where else would he bring his prized new pupil? Tradition! Our hero spits on tired tradition. No, for he is a shinobi of a different feather. Ever-changing, never predictable, but always, always in style. Those who cling too closely to tradition are bound to suffer the fate of their forebears, or are the lessons of the past so yeah, soon forgotten. This guy loves to hear his own voice, doesn't he? Yes, yes he does. Yes. <laughs> Ready yourself, Frenna. It appears that your training today will be of a more practical sort. But of course, you ha all you had to do was ask nicely. 
It would be my pleasure to be your teacher for the day. Your first lesson, little chick. Riotan's lightning will strike a single foe, while Katon's flames will raise many. Wield them wisely, or don't. Is only your life at stake. <laughs> oh, how generous is our hero. Putting aside his killings and spyings to play Mother Hem to the horsebird chick. You will try to keep me entertained, won't you? I was there, but now I'm here. Can you not see? Must they be so slow? Our hero tires of this dull dance. You're going to kill me. Could you be a bit quicker about it? I fear your teacher has better places to be, but worry not. My pawns will soon complete the lesson. Karasu, come back and er, Karasu, come back and face me with honor. Do not let their numbers help you. Keep your focus and your cat on will save the day. Right into the still going uh, AoEs. Nice. This one is strong. Keep focus, and your right hand will strike him down. Pair of poison knives. I know that lo icons. <laughs> <laughs> you fought well, Rena. However, I, I, however, should have known to expect the traitor's attack. I was careless and put you in danger. It will not happen again. It appears that Karasu has taken an interest in you, and I fear this complicates matters some. Let us return to the dock. There is much I would tell you. Okay. Yeah, Karasu, the problem with Karasu is that he is so talented, he is bored. Yeah. So he styles oh. himself as a kabuki play hero because it livens things up and is less boring for him. You weren't on the bow! Why are you not on the bow? I was. I I was. There we go. But yeah, um, right now, because I only have two chitin, or, uh, two mudra, you, I can't really mess it up. One of them will go off. Uh, it'll yeah. either be the shuriken, which only requires one, uh, mudra. It'll be lightning, which goes one direction, and fire that goes another. When they add in the third, there's a possibility of muffing a mudra. And, well, it's 
it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> um, fortunately, game-wise, they don't punish you too badly for muffing a Mutra. Yes, you'll be down DPS, but it's not like you're locked in place or um, you take some sort of back damage. Flipping off the, the, uh, back flipping off the platform. Yeah, you won't backflip off a platform. Um, instead, you'll get the most hideous and ugly of Domen creatures summoned from the ether doing a little tap dance on top of your character's head for like three, four seconds. <laughs> and that's it. And then it goes away. But all the NPCs think this thing is like the most horrible of things that could happen to them. And I'm like, Oh, come on. Your ego's not that fragile, is it? <laughs> <laughs> apparently to most Domen ninjas, their ego is apparently that fragile. I know, Urza. It's slow in here. It'll speed up eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually. There we go. Zoom! Zoomy zoom 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 zoom. In case uh, anyone who actually does play is watching, uh, be prepared. 24-hour maintenance is incoming. At, mm -hmm. From Monday night to Tuesday uh, morning. And I don't think I was getting a notice of that when I logged in today, which is a little surprising. Um, and at, with the server restart, that is the start of patch 5.4. Oh, it, it, it's easy to joke about Ninja and Naruto in this. Uh, I think the best one is the ability Hellfrog, which comes in much, much later. Which actually is apparently based on the legend of an actual ninja who could apparently summon the things. Hey, them. Okay, overall. I would tell you a story of our past, a story of the traitor and why he must die at our hands. Growing up in the same village, I have known Karasu since we were both children. When we came of age, we began our training together under Master Gekai. From a young age, it was clear that Karasu possessed an innate talent for our art that few could rival. I spared no effort in my training, yet struggled to grasp techniques that he would master effortlessly. In his own way, he possesses a mind singularly devoid of wasteful thoughts. A mind seemingly unclouded by concepts such as right or wrong, good or evil. Despite this, deep down, I always thought of him as a brother. All that changed on the fateful day when Castle Doma fell to the Garleans. Someone had betrayed our homeland, sold our secrets to the enemy. Looking upon my friends as their bodies lay broken and bleeding, I saw a figure flee into the hills. It was Karasu. Were I younger, more naive? I might have pursued Karasu as he fled, in an attempt to reason with him. But, but it was clear that this man, this demon, was no longer one of us, if indeed he, he, ah, he ever had been. Even Master Gekai did not survive the slaughter. Did Karasu bear in him some grudge, or was it merely a student's ugly pride? 
for our master's fate was the grisliest of all. His body mangled, his once proud face shattered beyond all recognition. I once held out hope, hope that if I crossed blades with Karasu in battle, that I might understand something of what it was that made him do those horrible deeds. Yet each encounter only raises more questions. One thing is clear, however. Karasu could have killed us back at Fool Falls had he seen fit, yet chose not to. It was as if he was testing us, testing you. Needless to say, this does not change our mission. For his crimes against Doma, Karasu must pay with his life. And yet, his thorough knowledge of us and our art has put Tsubami and I at grave disadvantage. But you, Rena, your thoughts, your movements are still unfamiliar to him. Yes, your presence might just serve to break his focus and afford us an opening. Yet, to accomplish this, you must become stronger still. Promise me that you will not let up in your training. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> You're easy. <laughs> oh, look at that cherry red bang. Yeah, I'll, I'll see it in another five levels. Yeah? Yeah. Um, four. Okay. <laughs> Clear of thoughts, because I have none. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was really surprised on how well I warmed to Ninja once I got started unlocking it. Um, a lot of it for me is based on the memory game just really gelled with me. So, we got a little more than half an hour, which kind of actually surprises me. Um, yeah, uh, both of these were fairly short uh, compared to all the other ones. Now, just to double check. Yep, did that. Of course we did. And of course we did those. So, yeah. Well, we could start in on one or both of the class chains. Uh, that will start leveling us. It won't be much for, you know, like the initial quests. But once we start hitting, you know, like the 20 and 25 quests, we will be getting big gulps of XP. Um, the other possibility is we can throw these two into a dungeon and see what happens, though people might hate us for it. Nah. How could they hate us? Because we don't have a lot of our skill set, because we're being putzes. Who cares? And we're that... rock stars. They can't hate us. <laughs> uh... No, they, they can totally hate us. Or we could do some fate farming. Now let's see, you're Puglist, so you're Ulda, and I'm Gridania, so we're in completely the wrong place for either one. Yeah. And hunt target. That's right, I'm done with everything. Yeah, we yeah. Can get out. Right. So it's either fate farming or Q uh, 26. What would be about 26? Uh, that looks to be Central Shroud, so... <laughs> Maybe take the airship to Central Shroud and see if the fates sure. are, uh, are with us. Uh, you, you, Hakusho. Um, saw the first main arc Kind of stirred it a second, didn't care for that, while the first one had been wonderful, so... I don't have much memory at this point of any of the characters. Aw, sorry to hear that it never got completed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the first art in Yu Yu Haikusha started great, and then they just kind of slowly fell apart and into tournament hell. <laughs> it wasn't even all that slow, just... You know, all the stuff after the main arc just was not really gelling that well. You know, all, all the 
fun stuff kind of rinsed out of it pretty pretty rapidly. And really, I this Pugilist set, I just I can't even I can't. <laughs> Come oh on. wait wait wait! I have an answer to this. Like um, I said, ju uh, just pretend you're auditioning for heavy metal. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, the first arc was great and then didn't care for what came after that and I stopped. Uh, and since it got mentioned a little while back, Naruto was, the first arc was okay, and then I just couldn't be bothered to care at all about after that. I actually like Naruto a lot, but I yep. will freely admit the pension of dragging stories out far longer than they should kind of drove me nuts. Yeah, it was one of those. Kind of like One Piece? There's... Yeah, kind of like One Piece. Yeah, definitely like that. One Piece, I enjoyed the first arc. I enjoyed what I was seeing after that, but it was starting to drag out way too much, so I haven't followed that past the first arc either. There is a lot of shonen fight anime that I haven't gotten past the first arc on. There's a few that I have, but they are more of the exception. Oh, you mean like, um, Fairy Tale? Fairy, uh, fairy Tale is the big one. Yeah, Fairy Tale was actually pretty good, uh, mostly because there was only a couple story arcs where they actually went into monologuing bosses. Yeah, that helped. And, and uh, most of them, um, they kept the dragging it out minimal. I mean, there were definitely stories that were about, you know, 10% more episodes than they needed to be. As opposed to, you know, two or three times as many episodes. Mm -hmm. And as Byrne said, yeah, um, Rurouni Kenshin. Uh, I liked the beginning there simply because they were being very historical about it, and then the more off-kilter it went on that, the less I cared. And I, wow, the the second season was such a slog for me. I've I have not been able to even think about touching the third and final season. Uh, the one that kind of surprises me is that I'm still paying attention to Black Clover. Yeah, that that actually kind of surprises me too. <laughs> Um, that one started off with both of us kind of going, um, uh, do we really main... want to continue with this? <laughs> when the main character's, uh, main trait is the, his ability to yell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but they've even made that kind of work. But, you know, the first parts was just, do we really want to continue with this? And then... The cast started expanding a little bit, and the writing started getting better, and it just slowly gelled instead of these others where, okay, this is a neat first arc, and then you just can't make me care about the second story. This one got better as it went along. Um, it's not at its high point anymore at the moment, but it's still doing reasonably well simply because there's a good cast of characters that are fun to watch do things. And they've expanded the cast out a lot. They, the rest of the cast yeah. actually is what helps it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Asta works on his own, but, you know, if it was, Asta was kind of the focus all the time, it, it, it would not work. It was so funny. I was talking to someone in our guild a while ago, and it's like, yeah, my son's really into anime. I really don't know about some of the... He, right now he's into this one. I forget what its name is, but the main character yells a lot, oh, that must be Black Clover! And he's like, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear, yes. 
He's calmed down a little. A little. <laughs> um, but, you know, early on they had some stories that started improving things, and I do really appreciate the part they had a few stories in with the Water Temple, where it was about half of the team of this band of misfits that got put together finally gels and starts finding themselves, and they did a really good job on that part. Yeah. Uh, so far, the best anime we've seen that it's like, okay, this would technically hit all the tropes that we'd hate, but it doesn't, and it's really well done, is Haikyuu, which is actually a sports anime. Yeah. Uh, that is all about high school volleyball, and it is excellently animated, it is beautifully written, and any time... And once again, it's the cast of characters that does it. Yeah, and they actually focus on the characters and character growth, and not just power level uh, tournament hell. Yeah. I mean, um, about two seasons previous for it they had you know a 13 episode season that was all one three match set and yeah they needed the 13 episodes for it this was not dragged out yeah so it's well done well written well paced mm -hmm. and very actiony yeah. And oh boy, these high school boys are just high school boys. They're hilarious. <laughs> but they're high school boys the way it should be, not boys will be boys in a locker room type BS. High school boys. Uh, yeah. What was that, dear? High school boys. Yes. High yes. school boys. All for me. High school boys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a creeper moment, but it was hilarious. <laughs> Well, it helps that he's the dog, and he, in many ways, you can tell he means it about the same way a dog would. Mm-hmm. I'm happy I get to be around people. Oh, 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 Prelude? Okay, yeah, I think we can get through the entire thing. Um, um. maybe... And maybe I want to be something other than this. Although I'm not sure what. This is a level. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was the prelude. And it seems like someone else is working it, so... Okay, we have a chance because two people isn't really enough for the later parts of this. Uh, group spinning off. Let's try and uh, keep on top of the back end. Wish I had an AOE or two. I have an AOE. It's glorious. Lucky. Yeah, we've got someone out front here. Good, good. Yeah, we've got a whole group of people here. Yeah, we might actually have a chance at this. And it's at level 4, so... Now here's hoping that our orchestration role is tradable. Yeah, this is a series of fates. It used to be that whether or not this series of fates goes off correctly would determine whether or not this bridge was intact. Uh, they had to take that out. Uh, I was afraid of that. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Nobody actually in there. But I was starting to get some of the shouts. More Rosen coming. Complete and level. Pretty good. 
And yeah, here comes the main one. Got a couple skippies. Yep, working on it. The other thing this does, besides the state of the bridge, is there is a merchant nearby at the top of this bridge. And he's always here, but if we get through this set of fates correctly, he will have more things to sell than he does normally. One of which is what's we called break a breach and roll on it. Another. Okay. Yeah, he's starting to go down. There's your level. Nice. No, where's... And this is the merchant. Chacha Moon. Right. Tiny Rat and Fleeting Ray's Orchestration Roll. And they're yeah. both tradable. I will buy two. I think... Yeah, I I'm know gonna... I do not have the Orchestration Roll on... Really, I've checked. Now, I believe Theron has the tiny rat. I don't think he has the orchestration roll, so if I hand one to you, can you, like, hand it to Theron? Uh, no. You you buy a spare and hand it to Rylea. I will hand my spare to Theron. Okay. But that got us to 27. Awesome! Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we still have the follow-up. Yeah, you cannot do it solo. Uh, you can't even really do that mean one uh, two-person. Three is barely possible. Ah, yes. Unburked long shaft. Yes. The long shaft. Yes, they're referring to exactly what you think they are. The postal moogle quest that goes with them later is just strong on so many Philoide levels. Hey. Yay! 
access more seals, to pay for another promotion, and of course to advance our uh, guild. Approaching the halfway mark. Ah, uh, someone took out the fate that was up there. Oh well. But yeah, that merchant next to the bridge uh, normally just has a fairly sparse of, I think it's around six items. And you'll notice how long that list was. Yeah. This one and we can do. The, and it's the last two that are uh, important because you can get them. You know, like on market board or something because they are tradable. The game has an internal to the game system of um, music for like inside your home or your in room. Or apartment. Or apartment, thank you. Where you can tell it what music to play other than the default. But to be able to tell it to play a piece, you have to have the orchestration role, which is what we just bought. And I believe that's probably going to be the main zone music for dry bone head traps why do they have to be kid traps Silly bunny. Kids are for kids. Traps are for kids. Bad, bad. Yeah, I could never I really get into Karasama Kiss. I know a lot of people really like it. It's just kind of eh. I uh, don't know that one. It, I believe that one's a shoujo. Not necessarily a problem. Yeah, the, the current ones, I mean, we really enjoyed Decadance. We are seriously... That was surprisingly good. We are seriously enjoying uh, Golden Kamui, which is really good, but rather graphic. Yes. To it's a not, purpose. It's not for those of a weak heart. Um, we had lots of Stevie Sama scenes. I know. <laughs> yes! I, I could not get through uh, JoJo uh, Diamond is Unbreakable because the disembodied hand fetish thing just really... That hit all oh, my dear. squeak buttons. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, at the same time, I rather enjoyed Goblin Slayer, but I know like a friend of mine just could not get through it because the first episode, which does have a graphic warning label on it, is... Very rape tastic. Oh, goody. And it is. Well, it's kind of hard in the fact that. Um, rape of female characters tends to be a really ugly trope as a this is a defining moment for this female character and it is a bit overused but at the same time it's the most likely thing to happen to a woman within her lifetime um as far as an act of violence goes as far as an act of violence goes it's just 
we as a society need to do better <laughs> as a whole. Let's be blunt. Um, but the if you just cut out the first episode, the rest of the series is actually pretty do good. Um, the movie kind of suffered a little in the fact that it was a good side story to the series, but they spent too much time recapping and setting up before they actually got to, oh, now we have new content. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It might have been better just as a straight OAV without the build-up. Yeah, well, they keep doing things like that. <laughs> the best, you know, okay, um, we're going to do this as kind of a separate thing. And not recap at all was actually the um, Mushishi OAV mm. that came between the two series. Now that one was obviously, they, they were figuring they were aiming straight for the fans, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which the Mushishi is why was... I think they avoided uh, re recap hell, which these things keep running into. Okay, what uh, Mushishi is a great series in general, and um, the special um, that they did in between the two seasons was just as good. We might have to go back to Northern Thailand. These might be too high. Oh no! Uh, the main one that was up it was thirty-one. We can do it. Kinda. You sure? We're only four levels under. There's two of us. What could go wrong? It's Everything. a bunch of uh, spirits that like to cast sing silence on a pugilist and a lancer. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, the out. silence will go well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mushishi is like one of my all time favorites. With good reason. And the special, they do a good job on. Especially since they kind of call out... Ooh, I got a lot of them on me. Yes, you sure did. Well, now you have fewer on you. Uh oh Yeah, I think we could do this. I'll get them in just a second. As we dodge through all the AoEs. Yeah. Ooh, they're coming fast and furious, aren't they? Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I did. I, I did switch my bow over to full heals. Hmm. That sounds like an excellent idea. And I might take a potion here in a minute. You're fine. Oh, did the boat go down? Yeah, Marshmallow went down. Oh no! I think I'm about to lose peeps! No, don't want the lightning. Let's not add something not in the feet to this. Yeah, please don't pull that lightning sprite. He will chew us a new one. Oh no! Peeps! Come back here, peeps! About halfway through. Pushy! <laughs> Are you sure this was a good idea? <laughs> Great idea! It's going fine! This is fine! Everything's not under control. 
Uh, I'm going down hard. Save me, peeps. Tighten if you have to. Remember, part of it is keep moving so they don't hit you, and the bows can heal you at range. We're getting awfully close to that lightning sprite! We are grinding through this. Is that I recently redid my monk bar and it's uh -oh. like murdered my uh, muscle memory. <laughs> now that's not good. Oh my gosh, we did it! Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. Let's not do that again. <laughs> oh, we are not touching Nameless Conjurer. We are so not touching Nameless Conjurer. <laughs> Level 33. No, uh, I, I 32 think... is about our limit. I think we're going back to Northern Thanalan. <laughs> Actually, no, it'd be Eastern Thanalan, but yeah. Somewhere where he isn't. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going back to where the levels are a little in our favor. <laughs> and I will say, I'm halfway through 27 now. Yeah, ditto. So, um, it helped. We didn't die. It wouldn't have helped if we did. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't think I needed that excitement. Or we could just poke things here. I mean, it's getting close to log out time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Want to take on the sting? Dun dun dun. Eh, we'll see what's going on in Northern Than. Okay. We got a little bit to go. Or I could just ride to Old Dawn. We'll probably get there by the time our log out time is. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, we're doing great tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing great tonight. yeah. So I gotta ask, do you have work in the morning? Yes. Boo. Yes. Now the good news is I did not spend half of today driving. This is true. That hmm. part, I don't miss so much. Oh, that one's about to finish. It's the only one in the zone, and it would have been at our level. Boo! <laughs> We're just not having much luck of finding fates, are we? Mm -hmm. Ooh, one just popped up, and it's a level 32! Oh, boy. And it's a boss fate. Yeah, no. <laughs> mm, maybe not. Not on a boss. Not in that pack. Oh, lordy. Yeah. I know that fate well. It's ugly. Ugly on a stick. Yeah, we are so not touching that one. Ooh. stairs I can like jog at a speed through here. No, we're not playing with you, Mr. Buzzard. He wants to play with us. I, I see yep. no. 
Just ignore him, he'll go away. And there are no fates up in... Yeah. They're doing wow. really great. <laughs> well, they saw oh, the great job we did at High Bridge, and everyone's going, nope, not touching that. Yeah, I'm just gonna ride straight to Ulda. <laughs> Isn't that a good idea, Urza? She's um, happy about it. <laughs> but the, uh, the orchestration role we got is like the earliest one in the general list that Rilea didn't already have that is gettable without doing something like, you know, lost canals. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we are officially in lockdown again in California, uh, particularly the Bay Area. Yeah. Not complete stay at home yet. Um, Not complete stay at home, but they're limiting a lot of things again. Um, basically, the statewide order is you basically go into the state if the county has only 15% of its ICU. Uh, beds available. We're nowhere near that, but at the rate we're going, we'll hit it right you know, like the day after Christmas. And they're trying to avoid that happening. That'd yeah. be an awful Christmas present. Horrible Christmas present. So we're abiding by the lockdown. We've kind of never really left lockdown here in our little yeah. household. Um, for obvious reasons. Between my allergies and the fact that we know several people who have like asthma or um, ha are taking care of elderly parents. It's just, no, we're yeah. just gonna lock down everybody everywhere and video chat and hopefully we can help keep it contained. So I someone... had planned on doing my normal trip down to see my parents, but that was before the numbers started really going crazy again. So my parents got a couple of uh, webcams. My mom figured out how to get one of them working, and we had a nice video chat on Friday. Yep. We're hoping in the long run, uh, we know once the vaccine finally gets approved, it's not a, a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Mm -hmm. um, it will be some time before the general population gets it because they're going to be effectively trying to get um, elderly and frontline workers it first, which I completely mm -hmm. understand. Yeah, that, that's a perfect valid reason to be in lockdown. Yeah. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Um, was kind of surprised we got through the uh, Lancer and... Or, not the Lancer, but the um, uh, Ninja and uh, Warrior, Warrior Quest so quickly. Yeah, they were very fast quests compared to the other three. Mm -hmm. Next week with Theron and Rylea in Heaven on High, they will be hitting floor 71. Pray for us. Yeah, pray for our souls. Uh, and then next week we will have uh, Pugilist and Lancer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll have both. Uh, those... Because we're going to be piling them in back to back, it might take a while. So it yeah. might only be one for the night, but... Yeah, because um, I haven't completed my level one quest. I don't think you have either. Nope. So We've it's been... the one, the five, the ten, the fifteen, the twenty-five, 
and then the 30, so that's basically six quests apiece, or really five and a half. Yes. But we're purposely doing those ones uh, back to back. Uh, one, because like the Pugilist story is one of actually the better written class stories in the game. Yes, yes it's, it is. It's wonderful, and we want you guys to be able to see it. And Pugilist itself will become more important once we hit Stormblood. But that's a long way away. Lance... Lancer will become very important in a minor extent very soon now. We're going to be hitting a zone that is kind of the outlying area where basically uh, Dragoons come from. And then the first expansion has a lot to do with Dragoons. So we yeah. definitely want to have that ready and going. Yeah, Dragoon becomes super important in Heaven's Word. So we want to make sure those classes are open so you guys can see the different story changes that happen when you have that particular class. Yeah. Any case, thank you all very much for joining us. We really look forward to seeing you next week. You guys have a good uh, night's sleep. Have a mm -hmm. safe week. And we hope to see you tomorrow. Yes. Well, tomorrow? Or next week. Yeah. Yeah. Dits. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Everyone have a great week. Thank you so much for joining us. Be safe all.